The first way to use MIDI in Traction Waveform is by using MIDI clips and the piano roll. You can either drag and drop an existing MIDI clip in. So here's a MIDI clip. We can easily just click and drag and drop that into Traction Waveform. And then we can double click on it and edit our notes in the piano roll. You can move them all around or we can create our own MIDI clip. Now to create our own MIDI clip, we can just click and drag this red plus sign icon up here. And when the menu pops up, we want to go to insert MIDI clip. Now we have our MIDI clip here, the same thing. We'll just double click on it and it brings up the piano roll. And now if you're not on the pencil tool, you can just click on that. And now we can draw notes in here as we want. We can click on zoom to zoom in a little bit makes it look a little nicer and you can scroll around in here. You can make your notes longer or shorter by going to the edge of the note, clicking and dragging whichever way you want. We can adjust the velocity down here at the bottom. We go to this tool. We can now control the velocity of our notes down at the bottom here. And if we needed to, we could quantize our notes. So we would just select all the notes that we want to quantize, go down to quantize and note start times. And we can say to the nearest beat if we want, and you can see it moved it to the nearest beat, but you can choose whatever you want in there. And if you need the MIDI clip to be a little longer or shorter, we can just get out of this for a second and then we can go to the edge of the clip like this then click and drag to make it longer, or you could click and drag to make it shorter, whatever way you want. And you can use MIDI clips in the piano roll for pretty much any type of instrument you want. Pianos, keyboards, synths, drums even. But if you are going to be working with drums, you might want to choose this other way. Now we're going to look at the step sequencer. So we can just click and drag this down into here. And this time we're going to insert step clip. So we have our step clip here and I'm going to remove this because it's a synth plugin and we want a drum plugin on there. So I'm just going to add the micro drum sampler. We have that on there now. And if we double click on the step clip, you can see this has the names of our drums over here. So if we want, we can now easily draw in our drum beat by just clicking in here. So there's our bass drum and then next we'll have a snare couple more bass drums, snare, and maybe we want some hi-hats in here. So we'll just click these like this. And now let's listen to what we have. Just a basic little drum beat there. And of course we can add more drums in. Now, if you're using a different drum plugin, that's not the micro drum sampler or waveform drum plugin, you can add more rows for different drums if you want. So we can just right click in there and then we'll go to add a row and you would name that whatever. Now, also these drums might not be mapped the same as they are for this plugin. So what we'll want to do to remap, say the bass drum is we'll open up our little control panel at the bottom here, click on our bass drum and you can see this little arrow. It shows you which key is the bass drum and for this instrument it works but say we had a different instrument and it was this key right here you just click on that key and it changes where the bass drum is going to come in it's that easy and if you're adding more rows in we can of course click wherever we need to for that row an important part of a drum beat is the velocity because you don't want everything to be hit all the same if we want to change the velocity in the step clip, we just click on this V here. And now watch when we click, you can see our velocities in here and we can change these however we need to. If we click bass drum, it's showing us all of our bass drum velocities. So you can click and drag however you want the velocity to be same with snare, whatever your drums are, you would just go through drum by drum, changing your velocities. Now, another neat thing in here is this probability setting. So if you go to this, and then if you were to change the probability percentage, this drum would hit, let's see, at 62% of the time. So that means almost 40% of the time, it's not going to hit. 
I personally don't have a use for that, but I'm sure there's musicians out there who would love this probability feature. And you can change that for any of the drums that you want. And then we can, of course, go back to our velocity. Or if we click on that again, we can just go back to this view so everything's bigger in here. So that's another way that we can work with MIDI and Traction Waveform. Now, one of my favorite ways is by using a MIDI keyboard. And you want to make sure that you have it set up properly in Waveform. So we'll just go to Settings, MIDI Devices, and in here, if your MIDI device doesn't have Enabled next to it, it has Disabled, you just want to click there and then Enable it. It's that easy. And you want to do that in the input. You don't really need to worry about the output if you're just going to be playing a MIDI keyboard in. So let's go back to our project. And now in here, if I click on this section of the track, go to Arturia Mini Lab MK2, which is my MIDI keyboard. And if I play a note on my MIDI keyboard, It's that easy to work with MIDI. So let's get rid of this MIDI clip and I'll show you how we can record our MIDI. So now we have everything working. Let's move this down. We don't need it in the way. We can just arm this track for recording. Go down here, click the record button. And you can see we've recorded our MIDI in, double click on that. Here's our notes that we recorded. And if we want, we can quantize these. So we'll select all of it, go to quantize, start times, and I'm going to go to nearest quarter beat. And you can see it's quantized everything nicely. And say we don't want to use the piano roll for our drums that we just created. Let's right click on our clip here and now we'll go to convert to step clip and you can see it would quantize everything for us in there because with the step clip, it has to be quantized. Let's just go quarter beat again. Now, when we double click, you can see it's in a step clip here. So that's using a MIDI keyboard. Now, what if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, but you still want to do that sort of performance to record in. Now, what we want to do is close down this control panel. If you already have it open and click on this little computer keyboard icon. You can see this, press caps lock to capture all keystrokes. So press caps lock. And I'm using my computer keyboard like a MIDI keyboard and we can do the same thing here. Press record. stop it and you can see we have some notes in here and again you can change them up add more in however you want and that's another way to work with midi now if you're going to be working with a lot of drum kit plugins you might want to route each drum in that kit to its own track in your project that way you can add effects to it and adjust them however you want now to learn how to do this with multi-output drums click the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.